Hello folks, my name is Jose from WPBasics.org and in this series I will show you how to create a custom front page or home page using the Advanced Custom Fields Pro plugin and the uh, page will look like this one that we're going to demonstrate. So let's have a look at the front end. This front page consists of a hero section on top with some text as you can see here and a button that you can see here. This is then followed by four content and image sections. Uh, they are laid out in a grid pattern which alternate with text on the right and an image on the left and uh, they alternate back and forth. At the bottom we have another hero section. You have the option to add a button or to leave it without a button. So let's have a look now at the back end. As you can see the back end does not have the usual content editor that you would find somewhere in this area. I have removed it as it will not be used in this design and would just add clutter to this play, uh, this design. We want it to look nice and clean. The content is managed by editing these six individual sections. If you wanted to add more, you could easily do that and I'm going to show you how to do that. The first section, as this title says, is the hero section. Here, you have a hero image. It can be removed by clicking on this X and then let's just show you that. See it's gone. Then you just click on add media and select your image. Insert into page. What happened there? Let's do that again. Add image. Click. Select. And it's back. I see what I did. I inserted the image here into the page directly by mistake. So let's just delete that. Okay. Okay. There you go. Now below this area, we have a checkbox. And what this checkbox lets you do is it lets you choose to uh, show the call to action button or not. In this case, we've shown the button. As you can see, it's checked. So this is why you have this button here but if we were to take this checkbox out you see those set those other two areas disappear and then if we were to update this okay and then we hit refresh the button is gone it's that easy so you have the option to have the button or not so let's just put that button back Let me just close off this, minimize the area. Below the hero text section, uh, we have a, a text image section. The text is entered using this, uh, let me show you here, it's, used, it's entered using this WYSIWYG editor. Right now it's in the text mode. You can switch it to visual editor mode if you prefer to enter your uh, information that way. And on the right hand side, we have an image similar to the hero uh, section in functionality where you would just click this X to remove it and then click on add media to add the image again. Below this uh, text and image section, we have an optional CSS class area. You can customize the CSS if you like. In this case, I have set it to dark. So when you type dark in this section, the text area will turn black. So let me demonstrate. Let's uh, look at it what it is before. So right now you can see we have a light color here. If you go in here now and we type dark, okay, and we update this. So let's just wait till this thing shows us that it's updated. And there we have it. And if we go to our page, notice it again, it's with dark, um, pardon me, light. And if we refresh it, it's now dark. Now you can do that to any one of these sections and you can put different classes if you want. In this case, just for demonstration, I put dark, but you could really put anything you wanted in your CSS section and your uh, CSS styles sheet and it will pick it up uh, as long as you put it into that CSS class section. And below this, you have other similar sections. The only difference is that the image and the text alternate back and forth to create the grid pattern. Okay. Finally, at the bottom, we have another hero section. Okay. Um, 
it's just like the other one it just this one doesn't have a button and uh, what else we have here my favorite part about this uh, you know using the advanced custom fields uh, plugin to to create the front page is the flexibility of the content areas you can actually move the areas around however you want it to do to move them so for example if you wanted to move this hero section to somewhere in the middle you just grab it drag it drop it there then we update it okay so let's just wait till it updates it's updated and now notice where okay let me just fix this here the hero section is here now let's refresh it it's gone from there now and it has moved here it was just that easy to move it so let's put it back just grab it and you can put it back and update that so you know I really love this flexibility of that section and moving it around is, is just so cool isn't that awesome I, I just love it now if you wanted to add more sections you're not limited to these six sections you can take some out if you want simply by clicking the minus sign or you can add more sections all you have to do is click on the add section button at the bottom right hand corner then you'll get a little selection here and then you select what type of section you want to add so for example if you want to add another he, uh, image text section there it is so there it is uh, let's select the image let's get this guy that's skiing and select him and then let's just put some test test text okay okay and will the CSS class will leave it blank let's update this okay let's wait for this to uh, update okay so we go to our um, page and we refresh it and if we go down here that you have the section again quite easy and you can add as many sections as you want and if you decided you know what that kind of looks stupid you want to remove it click on the minus sign it's gone update it let's and then we'll go back to our page and um, have a look at it here again let's just wait for this to uh, update there you have it so let's refresh this it's gone that easy it's quite quite easy so one, once you get an understanding of how advanced custom fields works a whole new world is going to open up to you you will be able to design pages more quickly and the designs will be super user friendly in order to get the most from this series that we're going to go through today and um, you should have some understanding of PHP and CSS although anyone really can follow along as so I'm going to give you all the code on my webpage wpbasics.org anything that I demonstrate I will give you the code for and uh, just if you wanted to follow along I'll let you know that I'm going to be using the Genesis framework and the Genesis sample theme so uh, are you ready to start did you like what you saw well then check out my next tutorial and we will get down to business and as always don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and if you have questions shoot them down there in the comment sections thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial